Hey, what's up? This is Airpod here. The humble cargo pant, like so many items of menswear, originally a military design now iterated upon so many times that the association with actual battle dress uniform is pretty loose by this point. Nonetheless, you probably have a fairly solid idea of what cargo pants look like, particularly in 2022 with the relaxed, straight-fitting cargo pant being something of a trend. However, under the surface is a crazy amount of variety, and we're going to be looking into some of those more experimental options and celebrating some of the brands who are going all out to make these strange, unconventional cargo pants. I've got four different options here, all of which present very different takes on the cargo pant. We're not just talking materials and fit and construction and how you might go about wearing them, but the very nature of the cargo pockets themselves. We're really at the intersection of function and fashion here. These features which were originally designed purely with utility in mind, now given a much more visual twist and a more aesthetic appeal. Massive thanks to Garuda, Gorilla Group, and Hamkus, all of whom were able to send over some pants um, and without them this video would definitely not be possible so big thanks to those guys. It is hugely appreciated and I'm super excited about showing you what it means to be a cargo pant in 2022 so let's get started with what in some ways is the most conventional option but nonetheless has some great unique features that definitely worth talking about. We're looking now at the Garuda Assassa version 2.1. If you're one of the OGs, you'll remember we looked at the original Assassin quite a few years ago, and now quite a few iterations and improvements to create this brand new version, which I think you'll agree has quite a few obvious differences between those original ones. The version 2.1, which is brand new, has one changed feature from the 2.0, which is the main cargo pockets here use a zip instead of a button, which is definitely a welcome upgrade. It's a more sort of modern aesthetic, I think, and makes these big pockets here easier to access. Normally, of course, with cargo pants, you have the pocket sort of sitting on the thigh separately to the rest of the pockets. But here, what they've done is actually stacked that cargo pocket on top of the regular hand pocket. First off, from an access perspective, this makes them super easy to get at. The zip is exactly the same height as the regular hand pockets, but also it creates this interesting stack at the thigh, which is quite different to what you would expect from this kind of cargo pocket. And it also makes them deceptively voluminous. Because you can't really see the top, it just kind of looks like an extension of the construction of the hand pocket. But instead, these things are absolutely enormous. They easily pass the patented Nintendo Switch test, for example, as if I needed more incentive for taking this with me, until Kurt comes out at the end of the month, I'm still on the Slay the Spire hype. The floating design of these pockets only accentuates those stacks, but it also conceals some phone pockets underneath each side. So yes, there's an extra two pockets here, both big enough for an XL-sized phone. Very cool to have these easily accessible without them being visible. So what kind of looks initially like two pockets is actually six? Hand pockets, cargo pockets, phone pockets. And of course, you've got some pretty chunky pockets at the back as well for a total of eight. I feel like that's enough carrying capacity. You've got a lot of options without these looking like ultra tactical pants at all, so I think they're pretty wearable in some more refined tech wear looks, as well as just in a more casual sense. Something you really get a sense for when you put these on though is how easy they are to move around in. Big Flanders energy here because these really do not impede your movement at all. That's down to a couple of different things. Firstly, you've got at the knee here some good articulation thanks to these material darts. That means that when you're swinging your knees around, um, it's just far easier to do that and you won't find these pants riding up um, like you would do with many things. The oversized gusset does the same, working with that drop crotch to make sure that the material doesn't get in the way. Looking down the leg, you've got this really nice smooth taper, so you'll find that around the thigh and the top of the leg, they are a little bit spacious, but then by the time you get to the cuff, it's actually relatively form-fitting, but in a way that you don't really notice. It just creates this nice kind of subtle arrow down to whatever fire kicks you might be wearing. The shape is relatively uncommon in cargos. They tend to be one way or the other. They're either the sort of wide, straight, straight fit, relaxed cargoes, or the more sort of skinny tapered things. This balance, I think though, is an overall pretty good look. You've got a bit of the best of both worlds. It's not looking like a skinny jean or anything, but if you're not quite comfortable with wearing sort of wide fit things or massively drop crotched items like the P30, these are a kind of nice, safe middle ground that still look good and provide some of those aesthetic benefits. I can't not talk about the waistband though. The wider design is a little bit different to your average technical pant, but I think it helps give these some unique identity 
identity. That extra height, it just makes them sit quite naturally on the waist. I tend to wear my pants very low, but I feel like these are actually quite comfortable one a little bit higher up. Having that extra height also means that these suit a wider belt quite nicely. And pretty much whatever you wear, you'll find these much easier to uh, secure with a belt than other stuff. And even those wider Cobra buckles that you might struggle to fit around a lot of pairs of pants, well, it's much less of an issue with these. The best part though, elastication of the waist at the back here. There's a lot of growing room in these, that's for sure, which means that they're mega comfy to wear, to the point that I can take these on and off without having to undo the buttons at all. It makes them feel like sweatpants, but obviously they have a far more put together appearance than those would do. The material also goes some way towards that. The much revered shoulder dry skin is, of course, used to full effect here. Four way stretch, it's water resistant, you get this nice deep black color out of it. There's a reason why people like this fabric so much, we've talked about it a lot on the channel, and yeah, it never disappoints. All of this plus Garuda stuff is made to measure, so you can get something done to your spec, uh, which is a very cool service, and it's another thing that contributes to the extremely high comfort of these. They did come out a little bit shorter than I was expecting. I think that's partly because of that extended waistband, as I said. It's making me sort of want to wear these a bit higher, but definitely have a chat with the brand owner, Sahail, because he can definitely help get you the fit that you want based on your measurements and sort of how you want to wear these, etc. Um, you can also, of course, customize them however you like. You'll notice that these ones fit me quite differently to the original Assassin, because back then I was really after something that was sort of a slim tapered shape. Um, so those kinds of changes are possible. Up next is another brand that we've covered in the early days of the channel, Gorilla Group with the S4 PL04 that I've got right here. These guys have reinvented themselves multiple times and presented a whole bunch of different aesthetics over the years. And uh, they're coming out with some totally new stuff for 2022. I think you'll agree these are pretty immediately eye-catching. I mean, the white color is certainly very unusual in technical pants, but even if we put that to one side, there is so much stuff on here that makes them look and feel pretty unique. Don't forget, these do come in black though if you're not feeling quite as adventurous. Anyway, the thing I love about these is the organic complexity of the way that they're built. You've got these pleats at the top, which is quite unusual to see in a technical pant, but combined with this twisted seam that runs down the leg, it almost feels like these have been reconstructed from the ground up, and the cargo pocket fits very nicely into that. They've been changed from a storage feature into a key part of the design. When they're closed, you can't really see them at all, they're just kind of chilling there, just makes these look like some weird white pants, but undo these and not only does it totally open up these sort of strange curved forms, but also highlights them through the black zip track that's otherwise invisible. That look of depth is super uncommon and super impactful, and I think it works really well too in their ability to change between a fairly conventional and much more unconventional pan. The downside, of course, is that you lose the concept of a cargo pocket as a storage device. Although these are pretty big, because they sit so flush against the body, you can't really use them for a huge amount of storage. Yeah, there is a, a sort of a sub pocket inside which is Velcro sealed, but those are fairly small, so again, you're not going to be getting a huge amount in there. In my mind, they're just about adding more layers to the technical onion that is these Gorilla Group pants. The pocket really do steal the show, but as you've probably noticed, these can transform in other ways. Take a look at the poppers here, you've probably noticed them already. You can have these in a couple of different ways. You can leave them undone and then they just kind of flap around and look slightly strange. There is a tighter and a looser setting. I have to be honest, the tighter one really does make these look like quite a skinny pair of pants and it makes them feel quite constricting, so I'm probably not going to make use of that, but the looser one I think is a really nice semi-relaxed straightish kind of fit which yeah just I feel works perfectly with this design and the, the overall style of the pant. The hem is intended to fall over the front of the shoe thanks to this little extension that's on the front and you can unzip these at the ankle just a little bit to accentuate that feeling of the bottom of the pant sort of flowing over the front of the shoe which I think is a really cool look. Another thing that transforms and it's another way of making these pants look super unique if you want but you can also keep them in a slightly more conventional style too. The material is really strange. It's a cotton nylon blend but it's actually more cotton than it is nylon. So it's got this real strong texture to it. You can really see 
the horizontal fibers coming across it, and it feels a little bit papery almost. It's a kind of mid-weight, it's a little bit structured feeling as well, so these definitely do have a slightly rugged feeling about them. They're not at all delicate. But then at the back, you've got nylon ripstop, and that's the same for inside the cargo pocket as well. So while you don't have that many color differences, there's that sort of tonal textural difference between the different parts. So there's quite a lot of interesting stuff to look at up close. Comfort-wise, think of them more as a work pant than a kind of delicate, flowy pair of cargoes that they might appear as. The only thing I find slightly disconcerting is those poppers, you can feel them on the back of your leg, so you get this like cold metal touching you occasionally. Um, I'm sure I'll get used to that, but it is a little bit strange. As you've seen in the video, I feel like the best way to style these is really just going all out and making the most of those flashy elements so that they don't totally take over. I like the way that they styled them on the Gorilla Group website with a matching white jacket that also has these different interesting textural elements, but going sort of mainly white with these black accents is just really fun and super dramatic looking to me. It's really one of those collections breaking away from traditional techwear and moving into this interesting space, a bit like uh, brands like Post Archive Faction, where you're taking those technical motifs, but then using them in more unconventional and fashion forward ways. Personally, that's something that I really like to see, and I hope I can integrate some more stuff like this into my wardrobe. Like every pattern here, you'll definitely be seeing these pop up on Instagram and TikTok as well. So if you're interested in more mini reviews, outfit inspo, other fun stuff, then definitely keep an eye on those platforms. If you're feeling overwhelmed by those, I don't totally blame you. So we're heading back to something more conventional and more affordable now with the CAYL Mountain Pants 2. It's a little dip into Gorpcore with a vaguely technical style presenting some light features, which are gonna be nice for all day wear, whether you're out there on the trails or just chilling. These came in black, gray, I think there was a sand color as well. I went for these, it's a little bit more of an unconventional color and a bit of a nice contrast to the all black pan army that I usually have going on. These have a slim, straight fit that I feel like is pretty flattering, especially if you're on the taller side like me, really accentuates those legs. They also don't really look like cargo pants in that, again, this is another pair that has that double stacked kind of cargo pant. You've got regular hand pockets here, then sitting in front of them, some zipped pockets for extra storage. But even more interesting is this teeny tiny little wallet style detachable pocket. Super cute looking, I think, but together they really exemplify what these pants are all about, providing light, easy to use features for casual day-to-day -day use. None of these pockets are that big or anything. These zipped pockets at the front bulk out quite quickly as well because they don't have that much depth to them. Yeah, they're definitely not a sort of grr, super technical, we're ready for anything extreme hiker type thing that a lot of the European outdoor brands certainly fix their marketing around. No, it's very much a casual lifestyle hiker thing. I mean, look, this little pocket here, let's be honest, you're not going to get more than some bank cards and a bit of cash in here, but that's probably the only thing that you would want to put in that little pocket. And hey, if you don't like it, you can just unclip it and take it off. The integrated belt gives a little bit of easy adjustment. I wouldn't have minded an extra belt loop there though because I feel like if you pull these too tight that little bit of extra material here can start dangling which makes them look a little bit less clean. The knee boasts some articulation as well. You've got a little simple dart here so it does actually aid moving around pretty easily. You'll also find at the side there's some extra mini zips. This is for ventilation. Oh nice. Again it's just a little easy to use casual hiker feature that maybe a normal pair of pants wouldn't have but yeah, you'll just find it in something like this. Overall, I feel like this is pretty handy for spring summer conditions, both because of those nice vents and the nylon material overall is fairly thin as well. I wanted to cover something like this because I can see brands which take that more authentic approach to being a sort of casual lifestyle outdoor product taking off a little bit more this year, uh, particularly with it becoming more and more of a meme to sort of make fun of people wearing Arc'teryx when they're only going down to the shops and stuff like that. And there are so many brands that position themselves as being designed for this sort of hardcore hiking stuff. It doesn't leave much room for the people that maybe they do just want something that's a little bit more casual. It's another area of this kind of fashion that I would definitely be interested in exploring more because there are loads of relatively undiscovered brands which definitely position themselves in this way and have some interesting stuff. Okay, one more pair. You know I had to save some cool ones for last to give them their full name, the Hamkus Primitivism Soda Nano Shell DCP GP Pants DCF Enhanced. Did I get that right? I think I did. Nice. If the Amazon stuff from last week had SEO product names, these are like 
the opposite of that. We've spoken about Hamkus in several past videos, so I'm very glad to be physically showing off some of this stuff again. But we're swapping out the dystopian manta ray Parker stuff with matching shorts that we looked at before to some more space age futurism. For the uninitiated, Hamkus imagines a science fiction futuristic post-apocalyptic world with different factions and alliances, all of which have their own motivations and, of course, aesthetics. So there's this sense that you're buying into a realized science fiction universe with these different narratives that are constructed around the clothes. It's not just a regular pair of pants in that sense. I mean, the product page lets you know that the giant metal eyelet at the back of the waist allows employees to accurately dock the Doosan uplink terminal in an environment with insufficient light. Finally, all my other pants have made docking with terminals an absolute nightmare. But this raises a good point in that Hamkus is the kind of brand that adds these aesthetic details not just purely for aesthetics, but for an imagined function. I guess you could consider that kind of costumey by nature, but the implementation of these has a far greater attention to detail than a costume would, I feel. And the originality of all of these different elements definitely gives them extra value to me. I mean, I've certainly never seen Dyneema patches uh, with these little sort of circular vents on before. These are super fun to explore and check out all of the strange features that they've added to all of these different places. Putting them on for the first time genuinely does feel like a process of discovery where you're like looking at some random zip somewhere and being like, I did not know that was there, what does this do? You can really tell attention to detail was a focus here as was construction quality. Everything just feels pretty solid and put together and you can even check the seam taping on the inside marked with this fictional branding here. You even get a custom little ID badge with a lanyard uh, with the purchase. So you really can go all in on the Hamkus ID and the world that they're creating. It's no wonder this brand has something of a cult following with a lot of its fans returning to buy multiple pieces. Anyway, these look mega futuristic and similarly to the Gorilla Group pants, I think just work the best when you go super hard. I mean, I'm sure you could tone these down wearing more plain things, but there are plenty of other cargos you could do that with better. So you might as well just go all for it. You're buying some pants that make you look like an off-world security enforcer or whatever, so why shy away from that? The mix of materials here is another totally off the wall element of these pants. You've got these huge Dyneema panels here, which are pretty uncommon to see in pants. They're super lightweight, they're super crinkly, they're very futuristic looking as well. You've got this real uh, strong silver foil texture to them. You'll find Dyneema panels down at the ankle as well, which are otherwise hidden unless you open these zips up here to kind of make these into a more flared type design. These are sort of translucent, so you can just get a little cheeky hint of my nice hairy legs underneath. You can get an even better sense of that if you fully split these open thanks to the double zip at the top. Uh, I guess that's maximum ventilation mode. But it also means that you can attach one zip to the other to give you a couple of different tapering options. Personally, I actually like the skinny version of these. I do wish they were slightly longer though. I went for a large, which is the same size as the other pants in this video, and I feel like in the wider configuration I wouldn't have minded these sitting on the shoe a little bit more. Then again, I am 187 centimeters tall, about 6 foot 1, 6 foot 2, so for most people these will probably be a little bit longer on you than they are on me. All this crazy stuff from them, and we almost forgot, yes, these are still technically cargo pants, like quite a few of the other pants. Uh, I didn't really intend for this. They're another one where you've got this double stacked hand pocket design. Both of them are zipped in this case, where you've got, yeah, regular hand pockets, and then on top, you've got these sort of floating ones with this detached entry on top, which I think looks pretty cool. And then the big Dyneema panels here, these are actually part of the rear pocket, but they start very close to the front, so you can access them quite easily but the bottom half hides a little concealed cargo pocket where the only evidence is this little uh, unconventional sort of poking out zip pull, which looks quite cool. I like the curved waist on these two. It's another unconventional touch and makes these look really cool when they're tucked in, gives them a sort of official look somehow. I'm in two minds about the material. It's certainly not like anything else that I own, so I have to give it some props for the uniqueness. It's also very lightweight and it's semi-windproof as well, and it has this real high sheen to it. So it definitely does look like a very futuristic pair of pants. There's no getting around that. Always follow LPU safety guidelines while conducting works at Lower Planet. Hamkus, 
looking out for the off-world safety here. So a little bit more required to style them, as is the case for Hamkus, I feel. And although they feel pretty solidly made, they're definitely not as comfortable as your average performance pant. Let's face it, if you're going out wearing these, it's not for regular all-day comfort, it's because you want to drop some mad sci-fi fits on people. The other downside of these is because of the amount of stuff that is on them and the multi-material use, I have no doubt that this fabric is fairly expensive. These do come in at $619, which is both the most expensive pants in this video and uh, I think one of the most expensive pairs of pants on the Hamkus website. Again, I do get it, there's a lot going on here. You've got multiple materials, you've got all these unconventional, non-standard hardware details. These are almost certainly made in pretty small quantities too, but you have to be pretty committed to this kind of look to want to spend that sort of cash, particularly because I know you're gonna be tempted to buy one of the matching jackets because the pair do look pretty sick together. But if you're looking for a first jump into the Hamkus universe, there are a lot of other things that you could be considering. Um, there's this really nice, uh, what's it called? Field Ops jacket, that's the one. It comes in just under $500 and I think it looks awesome. So if you really like the look and the style and everything that Hamkus is about but you're feeling like these pants is okay that's a little bit too expensive then definitely do check out the website because yeah there's plenty of different options out there but from a personal perspective as someone that owns a lot of pairs of pants I definitely do not have any like these and I feel like I can do a fairly good job of integrating these into my wardrobe I really liked the outfit that I did put out with these wearing them with the deploy jacket two things which in some ways are quite different but contribute quite nicely to that futuristic science fiction-y kind of feel. So yeah, 2022, it's the year of the unconventional cargo. If you want something that differs to the norm, I feel like all four of these present some really compelling options and are interesting and innovative in different ways. In all cases, we're seeing brands go above and beyond to create something that feels a little bit new and has these elements that other people are not necessarily doing. And I'm always in favor of those kinds of things and those more experimental products products because hey it's this stuff that helps sort of drive things and push things forward and allows people to experiment with new kinds of looks. Very keen to hear which of the four pants was your favorite that's going to help inform the kind of direction that we go in in future, the kind of things that we take a look at next. Let me know what you think down there in the comments and if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like it is massively appreciated I do always appreciate your support very much. Shout out to Moki Sniper the Apex Legends techwear outfit video is definitely coming soon and thanks for making it to the end of the video if you want to subscribe please feel free to do so. We've got some more cool techwear content coming up every single week. Actually, next week, there is going to be a little bit of a break. I'm going on holiday for a week, but afterwards, we'll be back with some more techwear pickups, other fun stuff, maybe some sneaker reviews, whatever you guys want to see. We'll see you then.